Okay, here it is. The stretch with the breath. The cut for that. Terrible. Right then. This is what we are going to start off with. I think I'm going to start like this, you know. With your hips, we're going to just hinge them back. So you've got your butt coming back. Keep the legs quite soft in the knee and just gravitate down. That's it. Your hands, they can trail down your thigh, over your knee, down your shin, and make sure your back's kind of pencil like straight. And that lower back, nice curve. Nice curve in that lower back. And once you've got that, you're gonna feel a nice bit of tightness on the hamstring. If you don't, whatever, whatever you feel, it's not a problem. Just make sure your back's nice and straight, got that nice little curve in the lumbar, and you're feeling that tension. And from there, we're just gonna pulse. Keep that back straight, keep the back straight. And we pulse, pulse, pulse. We're gonna pulse for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna stay wherever you've gone. You're gonna stay just a fraction more lower. So you're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. We're gonna hold the breath. We're gonna be present just for a moment, feeling that open tightness. Once we let the breath go, still hold it. Once we let the breath go, upper back is gonna round, lower back is just gonna round itself, open up. So when you're ready, we let go of the breath. Now, round the upper back, round the lower back, and then just allow yourself to fold. Get into your deepest fold. And then from there, we need to just hold each elbow. Hold each elbow. Nice, hold each elbow. And from that, we're gonna transfer the weight from one side to the other. So with your waist, with your hips, you're gonna transfer your weight so that your arms are in front of one leg. And there you should feel a nice little twist, hamstring, glute. And then what we do now, take another deep breath in, through the nose, and then we let go of the air. As we let go of the air, we just travel down a little bit lower, travel down a little bit lower, still cradling our elbows. And from there, from that position, we're gonna transfer the weight, we're gonna center ourselves, transfer the weight. So now we're equal. Take another deep breath in. As you take that breath in, we're gonna transfer the weight to the other side. We're gonna to get to the other side. Make sure that your leg is right in the middle of that cradle. And then take another deep breath in. Hold that breath. We're gonna hold that breath for five, four, three, two. We're gonna let the breath go. Just travel down a little bit further. A little bit further. Awesome work. Just let it hang, open up that lower back, those hips. And then we're gonna center, just center. Take your hands off your elbows. And then wherever you find your hands, allow them to place where they're gonna place. So if your hands are flat and they're on the floor, that's cool. If you can only reach your fingertips, that's cool. If you can't even reach the floor, that's cool. If you can't reach the floor, just flex the knees slightly and then you'll be able to travel down a little bit more further deep. And what I would like you to do is just gradually walk, just walk with your hands, walk with your hands, and we're gonna go into the downward facing dog. So if your feet are not together, we're gonna to get them together. And as they're together, your feet should be flat. If they're not flat like mine, make a conscious decision and try to pull those heels down. Try to pull those heels down. Nice. And then get the head down. And now we're in the downward facing dog. And from that, we're gonna go into the floating tabletop. So your knees are just hovering the ground. Get your back nice and straight in that floating tabletop. And from the floating tabletop, once again, we're gonna go back into the downward facing dog, and we're just gonna paddle. So get your heels back, and then get your knees straight, and we alternate. We alternate the paddle. So try and get your heels alternating, 
paddling, opening up hips, opening up calves, hips, Achilles, lower back, and then from there, go back into the floating tabletop, and then put your knees, cushion them on the ground, and now you're in the floating tabletop. I'm just gonna hold that pose, and from that pose, we're gonna go into a cat stretch, and the cat stretch is an exaggerated lower back, the lumbar spine goes down, and then the head goes up, chest try and tries to come out, nice. Shoulders back, and then from there, we're gonna go into the cow stretch, so we tuck our belly button into our spine, we overarch our upper back, we tuck our chin, into our chest, and we've now gone into the cow stretch. From the cow stretch, we're gonna go into the cat stretch, but we're gonna do it with some box breathing. So, we're gonna to count to four, four second breath in, and then we're gonna reach the cat stretch, hold the cat stretch for four seconds, breathe the air out through the mouth for five seconds, and then we go back into the cow stretch, and from the cow stretch, we hold it for four, and we repeat. Every time the breath comes out, we're gonna add a second on. So, we're gonna go four seconds in, go into the cat. Once in the cat, we're gonna hold the stretch for four. And then the air is gonna come out for five and we go back into the cow. Tuck your belly button into your spine, chin into your chest, hold it for four. And then we go in again, four seconds, back to the cat. Hold it for four. And then we go out for six. Hold it for four. And then we breathe in for six, breathe in for four. Breathe in for four and we go cat stretch hold it for four three two one breathe out for seven go back into the cow five four three two hold it for four three two and the last one we go back into the cat four three two one and then we hold it for four three two one we blow all the air out for eight seven six five four three two one and then we hold it for four three two one awesome and now our hands are going to go further forward hands are going to go further forward we're going to sit as we're going to go down to our heels and we go into the prayer stretch once in the prayer stretch what we're going to do is just tilt our bodies any side you want to tilt it to and you wanna open up the upper back. So where the armpit meets the back, that's gonna be opened up. As you lean towards the arm, the arm is gonna collapse the one that's supporting you. So you've got your forearm flush to the floor, really applying some pressure, feeling your hips open. And we're gonna release that tension, that stretch, come back into the center Try and drop down a little bit more to your heels. Really give yourself a wide prayer stretch. And then again, we lean to the other side. The arm that's supporting you collapses. Forearm goes on the floor. Lats open up. Hips open up. Just be present with your breath. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Feel that belly rise. Feel that belly fall. Feel that stretch. Feel that dissolve. Feel the resolve. Feel the flow. Come back to the center. Come back to the center. Deep, deep, deep prayer stretch. And then what we do, we elevate ourselves just slightly so that we can feed the arm through the arm so 
feeding that needle, thread that needle, and we just gently drop our bodies down on the arm that's extended across our body. The arm that's supporting us, it goes wide out, goes wide out. As it goes wide out, we're then gonna gently allow our body to fall on our arm, the outstretched arm. The hand can face to the ceiling. The hand can face behind you, completely up to you. If you wanted a deeper lat stretch, rear shoulder stretch, just slightly roll, transfer the weight over as if you're rolling on the arm. And then the upper back, rear shoulder will open up again. If it's too uncomfortable, if there is a pinch, just ease back. Bring the outstretched arm back, slide it back, push the ground away, unthread that needle, put the hand back to where it was, next to the opposite hand, and then the hand that was the supporting one is now the threaded one. Threads through the arm, gently allow your body to lie on the outstretched arm, the arm that was supporting you, outstretch it even more. So we go into the crossed prayer. And once again, if you need a deeper stretch, just roll on that arm slightly, open up the rear shoulder, lats, feeling the hips. And then after five, four, three, two, one, you're gonna slide your hand back push the ground away, unthread that needle, go back into the tabletop. As we're in the tabletop, we're gonna then put our thighs on the ground, so we go in the cobra. So now being in the cobra, we're gonna take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath in through the nose, expand the belly. Nice deep breath. Hold the breath. And as we let the breath go, in five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. We're gonna drop our body down as the breath comes out. Drop the body down as the breath comes out. And from there, you're gonna put your elbows on the floor and then you're gonna elevate your upper body up. So we go into the Sphinx. By being the Sphinx now, we're gonna take a nice deep seven second breath in. When you're ready, we go, seven. And we hold for four. And then we let the air go for seven. Let it all go. Just breathe as normal. Drop the upper body to the floor. Put your hands either side of your chest, underneath your shoulders. Face one side, whatever side that you wanna face. And then elevate the leg so that your knee comes up parallel to the hips and the knee is parallel to the ankle. Outstretch the arm, point the fingers away, not too far out, just enough so you've got a nice flex in that elbow. Push the ground away. As you push the ground away, your upper body's gonna twist, it's gonna come up, and you're gonna get an almighty stretch in the opposing chest, shoulder, wicked work. If you wanna outstretch the arm, the one that's supporting you, you can do that. If you feel good, if it feels like it's getting stretched, then keep it going. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then as the breath comes out, push the ground away a little bit more, leverage yourself slightly higher. And then we go back to the floor. The leg straightens out, the hand comes back in. We turn and face the other hand. The other hand out stretches, not fully. The knee comes up parallel with your hips, parallel with your ankle. Take a deep breath in. And as the air comes out, we push the ground away and we elevate our upper body. Get a nice opposing chest, shoulder stretch. Holding that stretch, being present with the stretch feeling that tension, feeling it all come alive as we are now in a lifetime. Feel that stretch, feel that flow, feel the resolve, feel the dissolve and feel the flow. 
We're gonna return our chest back to the floor. The leg straightens out. The arms come back in. And then we go up for the cobra, just momentarily past the cobra, go back into the tabletop. As we go back into the tabletop, dig your toes into the ground, dig your toes into the ground. Body comes up. Try and sit on those heels if you can. Widen your knees should you want. Outstretch the arm. Outstretch the arm. Little supine stretch. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Far as you can. As we lean back, take a deep breath in. In our furthest stretch. Deep breath in. And then the air comes out. The arms go down. The arms go down right in front of you. You widen your knees. We're now in the frog stretch. Being in the frog stretch, we're now going to rotate our shoulders around our wrists as we go back and forth. So we're mobilizing the shoulders, mobilizing the wrists, mobilizing the hips, mobilizing the knees. And we're gonna add on some breathing techniques, some breath work. So what we're gonna do now is go right back into the center, go right back into the center, and from here, whichever side that you wanna go, whichever direction you wanna go, we're gonna rotate round, but we're gonna take a deep breath in for four seconds as we go round, hold the breath as we pause for four, let the air go for four, and then pause for four. So it's all four seconds, whatever, way that you want to start rotating, we rotate. So we're we ready, we go. Four, three, two, one. And you stay wherever you are for four, three, two, one. And then you carry on going in the same motion for four, three, two, one. The air should have come out. Now it gets held for four, three, two, one. And we go the other way, four. We hold the stretch, really feel that part of the body you're now stretching and then we go again let the air go for four hold the breath for four and then we go back the other way for four take a deep breath in hold the breath for four feel that stretch feel that tension and then we let the air go carry on with the same way for four and then hold the breath for four. And final time, we go back the opposite direction, four. Hold the breath for four. And then we carry on same direction, four. Let the air go. Hold the breath, four. And then we go back into the center. As we go back into the center, what we're gonna do is bring our knees in we're gonna dig our toes into the ground, open up the balls of the feet. We're gonna put our fingers as tripods, elevate the knee. As we elevate the knee, we're gonna come up to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, you're gonna walk your feet to your hands. Walk your feet to your hands, far as you can. Flex the knees, get into that ball-like state. Be nice and tight, nice and tight. And from here, we're gonna hold our elbows again, as we did in the beginning. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Feel that belly rise on those thighs. And then we let the air go. As we let the air go, just let it all go. Let it all go. Let it all go. Open up lower back. Open up lats, hips. All those muscles around every facial feature, let them go. Forehead tension, let it go. Eyebrows, around the eyes, around the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, let it all go, let it all go. Have no judgment, just let it go. Be as one, be present. Breathe as normal, feel that open tightness. Just be present in the moment, feeling that body open up, tighten up, speak to you, listen to you, 
hear you. And from here, take a deep breath in as we now start to straighten up, as we start to fold out, deep breath in, deep breath all the way. And then we go into the final supine stretch, open up our hands, welcome the world, welcome the morning, feeling mystic, feeling powerful. Ready to take on your world. Let the air go, be present, be present with your breath, feel the dissolve, feel the resolve, feel the flow. And I didn't mention you. <laughs>